Are you ready to ask some questions, Danny? Yes. yes. So um, what we're being asked uh, mostly is what is the process? What do you do from the moment that you sign up a hotel as an affiliate? And where do you go from there? And we want to know everything from start to finish. Okay, I make some notes, some notes here. Okay. And uh, because the things and the opportunities and the possibilities is growing day by day because you will find new ways, what you can reach, achieve in any way with this program as a participate, as an affiliate. And uh, first of all, it is a unique source of income as from the economical side. It is a pure profit without really much effort that is not calculated, taken, and uh, can be used as a company for different way of investments for a hotel, uh, for a uh, uh, hardware, or for the software. Um, other advantages, what I wrote, wrote down is really, first of all, the possibility to support several hard projects of the choice of a hotel. If it's the manager or if for a chain, can you hear me? Or for a, a, a foundation or charity, this could be decided by the hotel owner or by the hotel chain or by a CEO or by a manager. It depends who has the responsibility and, uh, uh, um, and, 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 um, and the title to decide. And um, so one draws uh, attention to oneself as a hotel brand with a good cause and can use it for oneself in a media effective way and from a marketing point of view. So what does it mean? Can you hear me? The, the, the behind yes, perfectly. Yeah. Perfectly. Yeah. So- Morning, Frank. You know, morning, Falk. Morning. Uh, oh, afternoon. Yeah. And um, so with the registration, you, you generate fresh valid mail contacts, which one does not receive so naturally way. So what does it mean? Um, you keep in touch with your clients on a way what you will not get twice because when you are arriving at a hotel, you have a registration, but it is up to you to sign in with your email address or not. But at this way, you have an opportunity to keep in touch because somebody is supporting your charity, your good thing. And uh, of course, they would like to be informed how far it is. So. You have a possibility to say, hey, dear Daniel, dear Mike, uh, uh, dear Michael, thank you very much. At the last visit, you was supporting our charity project. On this way, we would like to say thank you. For this thank you, we are offering you as a hotel for your next day, a membership or uh, for your wellness area in, a, in, in discount or anyway. This right. is each hotel. So you do twice good things, you're supporting, a charity, you're supporting your community maybe. You know, me as a hotelier, I know that when uh, I was living in Switzerland as well, and Switzerland has many small communities, it's very difficult to break in this government of a small community. But as a new hotel chain or as a new manager, you can put your interest as well to your community. What right. do we need for a church, for a school, for a social projects? for homeless people, for uh, uh, kids with cancer or whatever. So you can do good things and can communicate it on a, a, a commercial way. You can build up your uh, uh, outstanding, you can build up your uh, um, partnership with the community. And of course, at least you, uh, um, you, you be in touch with your guests and with your community for the future guests because there is a relationship bending and you have a reason to contact your customers again after one year as well. So dear Daniel, Michael, this is the twice time that we are writing you. We want to announce you the result with all the good things. We reach such an amount and attached there is a picture where you hand over on your heart project. 
And for this reason, you have the second time the opportunity to build up a relationship with your customer as well. So on a different way of view, you are doing just only uh, uh, many good things, not only for you and your business, as well, you, you get the possibility to support different charity projects, what you cannot do on a normal way. Of course, you can do it on a normal way. But at this economical times with Corona, you cannot support as you want from the uh, uh, cash flow part because uh, uh, the times was very tough in the last two years in the hotel uh, segment. And, um, you know, I make some noise with the registration. This opens another level of customer loyalty. One can, all, uh, one can already thank after a while with the customers what I tell for the participation in the charity. And um, yeah, uh, da, 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 can we discuss? Yeah, the offering is up to everybody. But with your offers uh, for your customers, when you valid their registration with the mail address, you can build up and give them a reason to come back again. So you build up a different kind of loyalty program with your customers. And uh, of course, there is, um, do, do you build up an emotional bond, you know? Yes. yes. Because you have an experience which you are sharing with anybody. But first of all, you need to be seriously uh, uh, um, on this charity project. Because if you are really authentical with the charity project, you will win the customers who will participate and who are open to build up an emotional bond with uh, the hotel. And um, please interrupt me if you have any questions. Well, I have more questions, yeah. but it, it's very interesting what you're saying. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, of course, uh, the increase, the potential to win regular guests is unbelievable. Unbelievable. And as a hotel, this is also an added value for the guests who thereby also gets opportunity to become a part of it with their own recommendations, you know, to earn something. And uh, yeah, the free marketing, this is unbelievable. So from word of mouth and um, the free marketing by guests from all over the world who is speaking and talking about it who report about it wherever they live is uh, something important uh, uh, as well. Because I ask you, hey, Michael or Daniel, your last trip in Berlin, how, how was it? Yeah, you are speaking about it. This is something natural, you know? We want to share good moments. Uh, I'm now since yesterday from my holiday back, when today my colleagues asking me, who was it? Of course, you are speaking about all the positive uh, um, uh, awesome. moment uh, yeah. what you are sharing and if it's a good thing you know my wife ha my wife had a uh, breast cancer and my son had uh, leukemia yeah and i'm happy to support here the charity for uh, the for i didn't know what forschung in english is is um i'm 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 i'm, I'm just forschung for for research cancer you know to, to support such a project, this is a hard thing because I it because I was happy that my uh, son and my uh, wife still uh, uh, survive, you know, they are alive. And of course we are speaking and talking about it. And when I saw such opportunities, this is our moments what I'm sharing. Look, the hotel was good, but at least they're supporting such a charity who was participate, this is, so this is for me really a free marketing, what you get really for free. And of course, it's an image building. So for the standing as a hotel, as a brand, as a group with the projects you're supporting. So in Germany, they say, do something good and talk about it. And this is, you have to use as a hotel on your social media, on the uh, newsletter or whatever. When you are uh, speaking about uh, 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 environmental things, this is a point what you can talk about as well. We are happy to work as a Hilton. We are happy uh, uh, to support as the Crown Plaza or as the hotel in the Caribbean area, the homeless, kids, schools, churches, charity projects. 
we are happy to be part of it. This is something what you can uh, use for free as image building and for your standing and for the better relationship within community. Why not? Because each community, I'm sure in the Caribbean area, like on Crete where I was, when you are on Crete, you know, the people are very simple. The areas is worse. The streets. That's very true. And it's very prevalent in the Caribbean. There's a lot of poverty and uh, very little, um, very little opportunity to support themselves and their families. Yeah. And I, 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 I recommended my friend there. If you do such a things like what you have with the double jack system, why not? You can support your own community. Yeah, Petra. They will be so thankful. They will speak with that as well. This uh, makes that uh, uh, your guests, but everybody who is coming to uh, Ia Petra will talk about it. Robinson Ia Petra support to build up this church, the school, the community, the social projects, uh, uh, the hospitals as well. So if you are going in Ia Petra in a church, uh, in a church, in a hospitality, you want to be sick to not go in. Really, so you go in and it is amazing. It is Europe, but it is so less in the quality as you can expect in Europe. Of course, the medicine, the doctors are on a high level, but yeah. the equipment is ridiculous. And um, yeah, the possibilities are unlimited in uh, deep possible to use. The important thing to all the above, what we're talking is that in the end, more than just the unexpected and incalculable poor profit comes out, at least for everybody. So can I ask you a question without divulging any confidential information? Can you, um, can you speak about the difference that it's made for your particular hotel brand in, uh, in every way that uh, what, what have been the, the benefits for you as a hotel chain? Yeah, you know, we starting very fresh as well. So the, our uh, our occupation is rising up since two months, and because in Germany uh, we had uh, a lockdown till March, March end of March, first of April, and step by step the 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 um, the occupation is rising up. So from the guest part side, what we do is. After a while, we are sending each guest who is registered an email about I'm talking. We would like to thank you, dear Danielle, that you participate and support our charity. First of all, thank you very much for participating and to being our guest in our house. Uh, we hope as well that you have a nice day and etc. In any ways, we are. Uh, you can contact us about this email, and at least we want to uh, offering you our loyalty membership program and want to give you the loyalty membership program from beginning of gold to say thank you to participate and support our charity. Look, of course he can reach 20 nights to rise up the bronze, silver, gold membership. You know, this is a marketing tool. Anyway, uh, I hope that each of my colleagues are intelligent enough why he don't need to get gold? Because I'm the first contact person uh, when he traveled back again to Berlin. Because right. I, I give him the gift of thank you. Now you are gold member. With your next reservation, you have all the benefits as a gold member. This is the minimum to be thankful that you participate and uh, 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 your registration and supporting this charity projects. And um, the, the next email will be that we are waiting how much amount we uh, reach. And we want to give a check with the pictures and we will send them all our registered uh, guests. And uh, we will give them all one night for free on a, 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 on a, re on a, on a, on a um, requested days. So this means I, invite the guest again for one night. He will extend for two nights. Nobody is coming to Berlin for one night, but mm -hmm. it's requested. So I will uh, offer him dates where I'm anyway less booked and, uh, and, and, and we will uh, split it. 
and uh, at least uh, they will get the platinum membership as a gift. So, may I ask him a couple of questions? Uh, first of all, very interesting. With you, are you the, you're a general manager of this chain of hotels? Is that correct? Yeah. Okay, so how many hotels are there in this in your chain? Four, five. So we have in our chain twelve hotels in Berlin. We have four hotels okay. and eight restaurants. We okay. have five star, four star, and yeah. two three star accommodation hotels. I saw your website. It's outstanding, sir. Congratulations. Um, I have I have a few specific questions. When you first started, um, how were you approached uh, by Double Jack. Uh, what What do you mean? Uh, well, how did you get on board with this whole thing? He's one of the founders. Because he's always oh, because he's one of the founders. My apologies. Okay, so once you decide to do this, what's the procedure to get your guests on board? Yeah. So the easiest way, I'm looking if I have a room card here. So when the guest is arriving, okay. The normal process of uh, welcome to hotel and uh, this is your room number the breakfast is the wellness is spa is and yeah. at least I'd like to make your attention that our hotel is supporting this project and uh, you open the map where the key card is coming in and there is printed now is printed a QR code but before we was getting the print, we put a printing paper inside as a card with a QR code. Here is a gift for you. First of all, if you would like to support our project, you will get any news uh, here. And if you are do the registration, you will get a gift from Double Jack as well. And okay. for further questions, please do not hesitate to contact us. We're wishing you a nice stay and a nice journey in our hotel and in Berlin. Perfect. So this is the first step. The second step is, now, during the time of, uh, of, of Corona, you, uh, you just at the digit on a digital world, now everything is going by digital way. Mm -hmm. So our guest map is on a QR code. So there is a guest map uh, where the guests are invited to make a screen and they are going connected automatically to our online uh, guest map. And there we uh, gave a site okay. only to the there is one side, there is a project, and there is for the guests. This is our uh, hard project. If you would like to support it, mm -hmm. you can do it by registration, the QR code, or directly online about this site. And the same we do on the digital guest map as well. There is a button downstairs. You can go for it. There is uh, uh, our charity projects. Okay. There we upload all our charity projects because we do many projects in a different way in Berlin. And Perfect. there we put all our uh, projects. At first, the double check with the QR code, and then the guests can scroll, scroll down and see what we all support. We had here a charity with the United Arts Gala, with other different uh, 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 gala nights where we participate as a hotel. And this is all as references what we put down on okay. this map. And uh, on the next step, we uh, put it on um, uh, on a small screens, uh, uh, not screens on uh, maps on a table, you know, where you can do during Corona, you look at maybe. And there we put it as well at the bar, at the table on a restaurant. And we have a screen in, uh, in our lobby. There we have different uh, slideshows of the hotel and the uh, opportunities of uh, dining and uh, using the wellness area, spa area, and there is as well every uh, uh, um, on on a front desk there is a, a fixed uh, screen with it, mm -hmm. and uh, other parts there are on a slideshow everywhere. And uh, this was the first steps what we do here. Okay, so that's so exposure. You're maximizing the exposure of of Double Jack of the uh, of the philanthropy side of it. Um, and you do that throughout all your hotels simultaneously. Uh, let's say hotel number one um, can be supporting United Way. Hotel number four could be supporting um, a woman's shelter. It, it would be the choice of each individual property. Is that correct? Yeah, correct. It okay. is up to 
are decided now. The year has 12 months. We will divide it in uh, three months. Every three months, we are supporting a different charity. And we will uh, share uh, all the incoming of 70% of this four charity projects. So okay. uh, because we want to support, Berlin is a very big. So there are many homeless uh, people here. Uh, there are very homeless kids here. Uh, we want to support uh, homeless uh, kids, homeless uh, uh, um, people anyway. Uh, we want uh, uh, to, to support the charity with cancer of kids. And we want to uh, uh, um, support different social projects, what is in relation with uh, kids. Make because sure. are not getting a warm meal in Berlin. So nobody believes, but... Um, uh, uh, many, many kids are uh, not getting enough to eat. The parents have no money. They get supporting from the government. And there are many projects in Berlin where the kids have the opportunity after school. Uh, it calls Tafel here. Um, the kids going there and getting the possibility to get once per day a warm meal. And, uh, and, and we, we decide to project all this and we are sharing this with our community. Wow. That is That's very powerful, powerful, man. That's really powerful. That's... Yeah, and this is a good thing. And yep, the good sure. thing is you gave everybody possibility yeah. because on a, on a one way, anyway, everybody is playing. Believe me, before on Christmas time is on birthday or sending as a gift, this is things what we are doing, but to decide to do a thing where you support automatically something could be a possibility for each guest to say, hey, come on. Okay. If I do in United States or in Italy or in Spain, Turkey anyway, because Double Jack is an affiliate about all over the world. Mm -hmm. I do it supporting and this supporting is a unique possibility worldwide to support worldwide in different countries people or projects who need this income money. And at least the good thing is you're making marketing, you are connecting your uh, relationship with your customers, you're mm -hmm. winning customers, which you never won before, you know, because how many customers was traveling around the world is coming just once because who wants to be in Berlin three times because he's falling in love. But anyway, but, <laughs> but if, if your neighbor wants to go, then I can say, Daniel, Daniel, Michael, please, when you go to Berlin, please go to Titanic. I have here a contact details because we are in relation with them. Mm -hmm. Write them. This you can write in your first email for the registered guests as well. Please suggest, recommend us. For each suggestion, recommendation, your recommendation will receive a drink or whatever. It's up to everybody. So it is up to you how successful your key will be. The key is in, in the hand of this hotel chain managers who wants to start with this project. Okay. You are successful how you are with your mindset. Can you, um, can, uh, can you tell us what your conversion rate is? Uh, what do you mean with conver conversion? Uh, sorry, my English is very versed. No, that's Your okay. English no, no. Is fine. The um, the uh, how many people out of ten guests that you, that would uh, come and stay at your hotel? How many of them will actually sign up for uh, Double Jack? Yeah, the first time, uh, of course, the business guests are not just for one day there, and uh, uh, they are maybe not really sharing the situation to read or to watch. Uh, so we started with 10, 20, 30 percent on the in the Caribbean area. I'm sure that there are guests who are being more than five days average. Yes. Uh, now on holidays, we have more than 50 percent registration. It's because they have more time in this hotel and yeah. they have more time to spend. Yeah, to register it. Ah, there was something. Um, would you say that the, I'm going to use the word hook, uh, it's a, it's a bit of a slang, but, um, I'm thinking of all the hotels that we deal with that by leading in with the philanthropy part, 
in these in these times because the stories you've told are they're happening all over the world and you know places everywhere about homeless people and people not eating and yada, yada, yada. that must be very very effective would, would you agree with that of course of course okay um only because i kind of want to prepare a simple way to approach these hotels and basically they all have the same mindset whilst they all want to make money they all want, want to do do well for the community and it's become a very big thing in hotels and businesses all over the world to in, increase your image um to improve your um improve your image in in, in respect of giving back to uh, to your communities so i just want to narrow it down and, and ask you those they may seem like mundane questions, but they're important because you don't have a whole bunch of chances to go in and present this. You go in once, you've got to be prepared and you've got to have your, your stuff done. And the team has done an unbelievable job. And because you're specifically a hotel operator, you know, I wanted to get your, uh, and so did the people that were supposed to be on. And unfortunately they both can't, they both, there's a lot of turmoil all over the world. And one of my, best best friends his best buddy's dying and and that's another thing and in any event um it's important for me to know from your perspective what the most effective way to launch the program is and it seems that from the philanthropy point of view that seems to be the most effective is that not correct uh, just a second please yeah ich bin in einem video call yeah kein problem ich komme gleich sorry it's okay. I, so, I, 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 go ahead. So what I'm wondering about is uh, what kind of training did you do with your staff? How do you get your staff to mm. um, talk about this and uh, to be motivated to share this course, with your guests? Yeah. Uh, first of all, every uh, employee has to be kind in front to the guest. Of course, you we 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 love what we do. So, because otherwise you can do the job in the hotel right. uh, as opposed to when you are not loving what you are doing because we need to be so much flexible. Our working times are so different and uh, we don't have nine to five Monday till Friday. So when other uh, people are uh, celebrating Christmas or a New Year's Eve, somebody have to do the job, you know? And uh, first of all, this is uh, something um, we are not making so many minds what we do as a profit or to for the for the for the for the employees but the trainings is and the welcome procedure for the front desk maybe uh, if you say uh, at least i would like to inform you is just two additional points we are supporting such a social project Inside in your key card map is a QR code. If you are do a registration, you get a gift. Uh, we, would, we would be happy if you are uh, take a look inside and participate. And for further questions, you can contact us anytime. This is very easily uh, uh, trained uh, two words for the rooms division. And that's, As, all, that's all they do? That's, all, that's, all that's they do. it? That's all what they do. All the rest is the information about the project. Okay. What is the project? Uh, 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 what they are doing there? This, of course, they, they need to know as well. But what they need to know is just five key points. Homeless kids, this is the uh, federation. And, um, and this is where it is into. And um, for this, you... You need to train. It's depend what you are supporting. Right. This is other training way they have to read. But this is every day on a power briefing. We have in each department a power briefing, which are our VIP guests. Tag what is today important. Uh, uh, what is coming? So the small power briefing, and there is a, as well. Uh, what is with our QR code? What are the important things out of our uh, uh, project? And uh, the rest is seriously, because we are supporting seriously this project. Right. And the benefits for our employees is 
I didn't know how other colleagues are working. I do once in a month in the summertime, a big barbecue behind the hotel for the staff uh, as, a, as a staff meal. We are celebrating once in a month a barbecue where we are cooking for them and making barbecue. Uh, we are talking about our social projects. And when the amounts what we are reaching will be so high after one year, we want to give them a part of a small as well, especially at this point, like the front office or bar, restaurant, who are in a permanent contact. Because at the bar, when I'm drinking my beer, I'm coming in a conversation with the barkeeper. So there is the time to speak about it. Yeah, to say, hey, look, did you see already? This is our project. And and then you can talk, of course, with uh, uh, your staff to say, hey, look, guys, when we reach uh, such an amount, uh, all of you get $500 once in a year or whatever. So the flexibility must be here and uh, the creativity must be here yes, as well. Yes, and this, where I'm starting in the first beginning, the opportunities is so unbelievable. You have to just take your time and do some uh, small meetings with what can we do in the first step without any big investments. Right. This is really in Germany, you can print 500 for 20 euros. Wow. <laughs> yeah, it's about, it's about the same it's here. About the same. Wow. So what I'm, yeah. On the first steps are very important. And on the next in uh, budgets where you plan as a GM, you have an investment budget. Then you can think about, okay, would I want to make $5,000 for a budget to any printings or to any uh, uh, um, uh, advertising Spanish. about this project to, 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 to make it looking professional uh, for, for, for selling the idea of this charity project. But at least, believe me, everybody will go out as winner, the hotel, the guest who's participating, but at least this is the important, the charity project, because yes. this, uh, 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 this is the important thing. At the world, you are not getting such a possibility worldwide to, to really, this is what me impressed, to support the project. Of course I can support, but we, we, what can I support uh, yeah. where I don't have the cash flow, you know? Yeah, correct. Wow. So let me ask you a question. Um, in the Caribbean, um, the, pro the product is really, uh, it's resorts. It's all inclusive resorts. So would you have any idea what would, uh, in your opinion, what would be a really good way to, um, to do this? It's, it, it's kind of a, a different, it's a different application. So do you see this uh, as pretty much the same as a, as a hotel or? I do. Sure. Yeah, I do. I see it as the same. It's just a matter of getting to the, the right person or people in the hotel and discussing with them, in my opinion, how you want to um, go about attacking this and getting it moving and, and testing it and doing whatever you have to do. But I would think it's a first. And it's in a resort much easier because you have an average stay, minimum of stay from five or seven weeks. On any way, you build up an emotional uh, relationship with your guests. Because when you see me once in a day, you know, after the third day, I will say to you, hi, good morning, Daniel. Good morning, Michael. How is your day? What is your plan for today? I have any suggestions, any recommendations. And you know, the relationship is building up a trustful moment uh -huh. where you can see much more easier about such a project. And uh, I think the benefit in a resort is much higher than now in Berlin, when a business uh, traveler is coming, he has his, uh, he have his timetable about meeting, going, flying, check in, emails writing. And this is so much easier. And the benefits for the guests is much easier as well. If you do your registration this week in your holiday, Daniel, we are inviting you for 50% discount of a massage. Give me your hands. You know, this is on a, Very on, a, on, a, on a funny way, but you have in a resort, this uh, relationship building and you can do everything. 
you can invite for a romantic dinner or you can invite for a bottle of wine. You know, it's much easier because you know the prices of your bottles of wine. I suggest you our best red wine. This is for you for thank you to participating and your registration of Double Jack and supporting our charity project. The whole Caribbean will be thankful about what you are supporting. Really, believe me. Yeah, no, you, you're, you know, you're, 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 excuse me, you're right yeah. on because I, I'm the, the, um, the opportunity to get to know your guests over a seven day period is enormous. And we've been on all inclusive implications. And you know, by the end of the, by the fourth or fifth Absolutely. day, they're your new best friends. So if you're going to, I'm going to use an example, Club Med that has water sports, that has uh, a fine dining, that has, da, da, da. there's a myriad of things you can offer to the potential client. Like, let's say they want to go uh, wakeboarding or they want to go this and it's a fee of 20 bucks. You can offer it to them for $10, but you're given the opportunity because you've developed a relationship That's with right. them over a few days. Yeah. Very, very good point. And very important, you can catch the registration during their stay because you can give him as thank you the gift during mm -hmm. his stay. So you have the impact during the stay of the guest. Yes. So mm -hmm. it is uh, it is an unbelievable uh, opportunity. Much easier is not possible. And um, yeah. So I think. So would you be... say your remarketing cost is a lot lower for the same of guest? Course. Of course. Yeah. And on resort hotelery, you have much more employees. So you have a customer service department. And uh, when when I uh, was in a resort, or I'm thinking I'm now in a resort hotelery, I would do just to open an address about all guests who is registrating or a WhatsApp group. Because one employee can handle the issues about each guest who is doing the registration about double jack for this charity project. You can give him a directly a feedback back. Dear Daniel, thank you. I see that you are registered. Here is your personal email address depending on this issue in this uh, social project. So you can uh, have on a, a special address just only for registered guests and relationship uh, binding up program. Okay, what do you mean nice. by that? I'm sorry, I didn't catch that. You can have a special address. What kind of address? Of course, maybe my hotel is a Caribbean Hilton Resort Place. Right. And you have different email address, front office reservation at yes. Caribbean okay. Hotel. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At this point, I can create the own mail address personally for everybody who is registered, who, who do the registration uh, uh, through double jack for this charity project. Oh, when like I a VIP service. Yeah, it's like a service, you know, especially, and then I have a smarter uh, connecting as well. So I can answer you directly in the resort. Thank you, Daniel. I saw you do the registration. Here is your personally contact address with our resort in any cases. Please let us know what we can do for you to be or take or let be your uh, 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 stay more comfortable. Believe and me. Also, that's, yeah. It's going to be a lifetime guest as well. So that's a lifetime email address. So if they actually want to rebook, they can maybe even go through the process because they're going to be qualified buyers of what they've done for the charity. So now you've got that lifetime okay. rewards campaign because they would already be linked to your own internal rewards campaign as well. So this is just like the VIP section almost. That's brilliant. And at least, at least, believe me, all the uh, reality TVs, yeah, they are so successful. Why? Because humans are interesting in other humans. And <laughs> when you build up a relationship, you can connect on this relationship. Because me, as a guest of a resort, wants to know, hey, how are, uh, how is Daniel or Michael? So you can be in touch. You can give your guests a choice to be in contact further with any news or just about the news, what you reach with this project. I'm sure more than 50% will tell you or make a, a sign, please inform me about more news. So you can share the emotion. You know, our holidays are emotion. Yes, if they we, are. Yes. I will never been back again in any resort, you know. But with the nice wives, I want to know how is Valley, what are they doing now? 
So once in a month, you can send, hey, Daniel, hey, Michael, look, the, the, the past two weeks, you participate with our memories, gala night, cocktail, sundowner, some impression of pictures, yes. you know, and this is from hotel bar to build up the loyalty program and what, what you will do, of course, you will decide to go next year back again to this resort because you are coming back home and... Um, yeah, it's your family. Yes, yes. The relationship building is very powerful in uh, resorts when people are on vacation. Well explained. Yeah. 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 Well, very, done. Very well, well done, sir. Wow, that's great. Yes. That's great. And you asked this question about the conversion rate, about what percentage? Of well, he said at the beginning it was 10 to 20%, yeah. and then and he said now it's around 50%, correct, Veli? Of course, and it's rising up. We are starting uh, three, four months before, and we was just on a lockdown so we had an occupancy of 10 percent but yeah. what meaning is uh, the occupancy now with uh, the reaching of the registrations are high and i'm sure that on uh, it will be much higher with each month yeah. and in resort totally i'm sure they will start it with 50 percent because the guests are have a longer stay the, the, yes the, i i agree with you and i, I think from um I never really realized how much more fortunate we are to have a seven day stay yeah. as opposed to a regular hotel. The key thing for me to, to get all my folks to do is how to do the initial meeting and get the process set up. We're going to have to put something down on paper that's simple and easy. And so, so, yeah, so, what, so going forward, um, Michael has many, many hotels in his database. So how how would we approach? We just have to find one. I, I would think we're gonna have to find choose one with the people who are unfortunately not on the call today and decide, okay, we're gonna concentrate on this one. We're gonna use the Titanic and Veli as an example, right? Okay. Um, and we've made notes and we know what we're doing, and let's just do the one. And we'll do it quickly. Like we're not going to wait a month. We'll, we'll do it like in the next week, let's say, and go through the process, see what works, adjust, uh, but get it going. We've got to right. get it started now. And then once we have one, once we have one, then you can. It'll be a dominant. Like effect. he said, you know, now that that the 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 rates are not the rates, the occupancy rates are going up. You're just going to get more and more people participating. I believe. Okay. I, I think it's brilliant. I really want to thank you for your time today, man. Like uh, you brought a lot I'm, of a lot Mike, of things to life. You, so you but, are free to be in Berlin every time our guests <laughs> <laughs> the, still open. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thank you. Thank you. So I will so take you up on the champagne bottle for my son. By the way, <laughs> yes. we will have a drink for that. Feel free. I have so much to drink, but. Not so many people to drink with it. Oh, <laughs> give it a few months. <laughs> yeah. All right. So, Dale, uh, Frank, uh, Paul, do you have anything, um, any other golden nuggets to uh, give us? We have just reworked that um, onboarding document yeah. from Frank's side. Okay. So, that gem is in the chat as well. Okay. But perfect. I would, I would say we follow the same premise that we do with any of the other um, organizations we look to onboard with finding the first reference point to expand with. So okay. identify the hotel, maybe don't just do one, maybe to one of each of the franchises. Okay. So you can test in different markets. So we do two okay. and the adaptation time shouldn't take too long to get them done. I mean, Falk would probably advise doing the entire franchise because <laughs> We know it works. <laughs> so I would love to do that as well. Um, but what would you what would you say from your expertise, Mike? You've got hundreds of hotels that you've dealt with in the Caribbean mm -hmm. with how the scalability would work going from the one test to the entire market. Would you use one test to go to the hotel, hotel chain like a, a Hilton or something huge like that as a validation point? Or would you look to onboard Blue Diamond and Sandals and all of those kind of stuff? Um, the, the latter would be my choice. Hilton is a huge monster with all close to 6,000 hotels. Uh, obviously, you just have to get into one. Many of those, um, of those chain hotels 
uh, as we already know, some of them are just franchises, others are part of the chain, others just pay a, a, like a, a fee to, to use the name, so it varies. After listening to this and you know, seeing seeing what's happened, my choice would be would be to take sandals, go and do one resort of sandals. From we've got notes of how to do it from beginning to end. If we have any questions, we can call. Get that one going, and then if it works in one, it'll work in the other twenty one they have. And do the same thing with Blue Diamond, which are forty six resorts now. Gennaro told me in the middle of the week, and uh, so that would be the way I would proceed. So then what would our timeline look from your side? So how long would you wait for validation before you move on board? Two weeks? Um, I, I would I would think that that's... I would think no more. I think a two-week period uh, 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 is going to give us a good idea because that would be two weeks of guests because the, the, the average stay is seven days. So you would have, you know, one group of guests and then another group of guests. And I think that would give us a, a, a good base. Yeah, I... Um... I don't want to overpromise, and yet I don't want to. No. Uh, you know, I, I I would say two weeks to a month would be. You know, and if and if I can't do anything by then, then I'm not in the right business, right? Because the product's <laughs> there, the support is there. Uh, some really important questions were answered for me today. Um, while I'm disappointed, uh, of, you know, my people were unable to, to attend today. Um, they're people that I work with, so I, it's not the end of the world. I think that. Um, Again, uh, I'm stayed focused on these. I think, I think that within two to three weeks, I should have one test done in one resort of a whole week, right? So it's a matter of getting the GM or uh, the head of human resources. Or let me ask you this, really: Who um, normally takes care of the whole process in your hotel? Who's the who's where's the focal point, the starting point? Is it the general manager? Is it the head of uh, special services? Is it the concierge? What is it? So we start, of course, uh, with me. And I uh, started to hand over the works. Marketing is doing all the things uh, what need for printing or uploading on a, a TV okay. uh, from logo. And they forward it to the IT or to the technical department to do the uploads. And our uh, rooms division manager is handling the communication with the guests in the front office. And um, at least any updates is coming by the meeting through me. Once in a week, we have a head of department meeting. Uh, we have a daily operations meeting. And once when it is integrated, it is going by automatically for any news and changes. Mm -hmm. uh, you can just make it on a on a on a on a, on a op operations meeting, but of course, in a resort, you can uh, hand over uh, yeah. a responsibility for a key position. Uh, uh, maybe it could be uh, the, the the front office or the rooms or the customer contact center. I think in the customer contact center, it's in good hands because they are taking care about the issues of the guests. So the guest relation or the uh, a guest service center. Okay. And if you need any further ideas, really, I work in a resort hotelery as well. So mm -hmm. it's depending uh, on which way the resort is selling his, how many stars, what people, but this product <clears throat> is not any stars. It is just how I make the presentation and how I get in the communication. But at least you can do a raffle as well. Uh, one day before gala, before everybody's leaving the uh, hotel, that you uh, decide as a resort to make a raffle and the winner of the raffle of all the registered people get um, free dining on a boat or on a beach or whatever. Yeah, okay. So basically it starts with you and then you delegate and you create a team and it becomes part of your everyday uh, working arrangement with your with your staff and it's just another, th uh, another offering to the clients. Yeah. But it, but First... Yeah, and we do some creative meetings, and there we are talking about this as well, okay. how we can do the presentation, how uh, we can uh, put it on another way to implement mm -hmm. it, and, 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 uh, but the rest is going automatically when you start, everybody needs to know what he is doing, and once it's implemented, the rest is very easy. Okay, okay. thank you, that's great.